वेलकम एवरीबॉडी टू द करंट मॉड्यूल ऑफ एसर्शंस राइट दिस इज द ट्रेनिंग मॉड्यूल 10 एंड इन दिस बेसिकली वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट एन एसर्शन इज एंड हाउ टू वैलिडेट द रिस्पांस इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल आई हैड एक्सप्लेन यू टू इंस्टॉल द रिटेल एप्लीकेशन एंड यू हैड वी हैड मेड दिस रिक्वेस्ट थ्री सिंपल रिक्वेस्ट्स लॉग इन रिक्वेस्ट ऐड कैटेगरी ऐड प्रोडक्ट fine now uh, what we need to do we need to validate the response as well fine if you haven't seen the previous one please go and watch the previous uh, module right so out here you have got the request for each request we have the response now we need to validate the response what do you mean by validating the response Uh, well we need to validate the actual data and the expected data and we need to report whether both of them match or not right for example i added various categories over here for every category i got a response block fine and the response block explained me whether the category is successfully added or not fine now you can validate this right what do you mean by validation basically okay basically if i talk about validation you want to validate data that is whether the correct data is coming up in the response or not apart from that it's not just about data you need to validate the tags as well fine what do you mean by tags in the response you need to check fine whether the item tag is coming or not right or whether category name tag is coming or not rather rather the item tag is coming multiple times each time it is coming for each of the product which was added fine so you want to validate the structure of response as well as right as well as you 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 might want to say validate the tag count that fine i am expecting that this tag item tag should come up five times you need to validate that whether five items are coming up in the response or not fine this is just a simple and very strong example which i am taking fine apart from that what all validation can you do you can check you 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 would like to check whether the response is a valid soap response or not what do you mean by a valid soap response well whether the response follows the soap protocol or not it can be that server sends you back a response which is not actually in the soap format find something some error is there whatever is that you need to validate that right what else you would like to validate we would like to connect to db the database that's why i use this application because the database is in our local system over here now you want that soap ui should connect to database pull out the values and validate them fine we'll do that you'll have to write groovy script for that fine right so you you need this okay what else kind of value what is the other kind of validation which you can do with this response you can uh, actually check the status code you would like to check the status code what do you mean by status code even like for example if i am hitting google.com okay uh, generally a status code 200 comes back in header which means that everything was okay there are various status codes like 200 400 401 402 3 45 right each status code has a separate meaning that a url is incorrect or server not found or you don't have the access on the server the status code you can actually see the status code in the raw xml which is it is returned out here you see that a status code 200 is returned if by chance okay suppose i make a new test request map it to any of the requests right and suppose i am sending the request and by chance i don't close a tag fine 
the session tag I have I, I omit this bracket and if I run this you get this XML error fine if you look at the raw response you get the status code as 500 internal server error okay so you would want to validate the status code these are HTTP codes all right these are predefined codes generally the good code which everybody wants is 200 200 means everything is okay fine so these are all the types of validations which you would like to perform okay fine now let, for performing these kind of validations you need assertions fine so what an assertion is assertion is something which which can help you to validate your response end to end fine okay now there are various kinds of assertions all right i'll start with the easiest one and then i'll keep on climbing over to the other ones all right so the to start with assertions first of all uh, you need to suppose i'll take the example of add product request fine this is the add product request this is the request body this is the response which is coming up fine and over here at the bottom you will see that there is an assertion icon fine or a tab you click on it and this window will appear look by default there is a soap response assertion which is already added right what this why this assertion is already added assertion means basically validation in layman's term you can say fine assertion means validation this validation is already added why is that it is added look this assertion checks whether the response which is coming up is as per the specifications of a soap protocol whether the soap envelope tag is in the big beginning and the end or not or whether we have soap envelope body or not right so this assertion does that this is by default it is present by default while creating a test case or while creating a soap based test request fine when i click on ok and if i map it to any any of the operations you have a checkbox over here oh, oh just a minute you have a checkbox over here this checkbox says that at the validation that the response should be a soap message there are other validations as well but primarily we go in for the first one okay which checks whether the response which is coming up is as per the specifications of a soap protocol or not fine now apart from this suppose i want to check if uh, say harry potter is coming up in the response or not fine so we have got various other assertions for that uh, you click on the icon out here this is the icon fine you click on this icon and you will see various uh, assertions which can be there in soap ui fine uh, property content compliance status standard script sla gms right security jdbc is not it, it's grayed out right it's grayed out because this is the free version of soap ui in the free version of soap ui you don't have jdbc assertion you have to write your own groovy script to connect to database jdbc means java database connectivity you don't have support for that okay but since you don't have support here that doesn't mean that you cannot do it you can do it you can simply write your own groovy script okay so let's start with property content assertion i'll talk about all the sub assertion types under it but i never use them practically okay what i prefer is i prefer a script assertion in which i write groovy script all right but since it's a part of soap ui i'll talk about it and i'll tell you what is the disadvantage and advantage of using it fine advantage of using it is it is very simple you don't have to do any coding fine for example if i take up contains if i double click on contains i'll get a window like this and i can write that my response should contain the word harry potter fine click on okay and this assertion comes up over here fine now suppose if i have to 
uh, validate the text product added successfully whether it is there in the response or not to check this again i will have to put one more contains assertion like this fine so for each and every text you which you have to validate fine you will have to add a new contains assertion that's for sure okay now this is a very painstaking thing because i cannot keep on adding contains assertion again and again again and again this can also be used with the tag name for example the tag for quantity i can say that fine the response should contain quantity word so this will check that how will you check that how will it check that you simply have to run the request when you run the request the assertions they are automatically executed when the response comes okay you get the uh, you get the result as well i'll talk about that just just be with me fine i'll talk about that but try to understand the fact that you cannot have each and individual contain the session moreover quantity tag it is present multiple times it's a dynamic request response now i'm just checking that whether it is present once or not what if i have to check whether it is present say five or six times like how out here it's present around seven or eight times yeah i want to check whether it's present around seven or eight times so i just cannot use contains right but the advantage is that if you have a simple string which you need to validate in the response whether it is there or not you can use it fine but if you have something like this which i just explained you then it becomes a problem okay now similar to contains there is something which is opposite right not contains double click on it you can enter your text whatever you want to enter and this will do okay right now when the when is the assertion executed when you run the request okay suppose if i run my request again the response will come right all the assertions passed but this one failed product added successfully because this this failed because product added successfully was never the part of response because the products were already added in the database so each and every product sent you a response that duplicate product product already present duplicate product product already present fine so obviously this assertion will fail when assertion fail it marks the test case as a fail failure fine so assertion failure means the test case has failed all right now uh the one which i prefer the type of assertion which i prefer is script assertion i'll come over to it fine anyways let's talk about xpath match first xpath is important fine these two things are there xpath and xquery fine let let me talk about xpath now xpath is like the address the address of the element 